the idea of calling everybody citizens from the name itself conveys the equality of rights. Jargon way something we have is that uh, at some point we wanted to appoint somebody who would fetch the paper that they for to do art or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And then so what do we call this person? And then they were saying like, okay, since we are Kinder Republic, we should call that person the paper blick. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So, uh, and then we don't have paper blicks anymore, but we do appoint daily cleaning blicks. Mm. Okay. That's it. We also have flag blicks, mm. and I'll tell the story why we have a flag blick. So, in Sri Lankan schools and in any public institution, the standard ritual is that you have the national anthem to come and specific. Mm -hmm. We didn't have that. But then a few months back, there was this big hoo-ha because a famous singer, when singing at a big event, mispronounced one word, which called Sri Lanka instead of mother, he called it Mr. sort of thing. One So there was this big drama and like questioned by the police that ministers getting involved. And so we told them uh, this story to children. They were like, okay, one mistake of what? Why is this so much fuss about this, right? Uh, but then we asked, okay, so there is all that, but would you like to learn the national anthem? And then uh, they said yes. And then we proposed, would you like to start the daily? They said they agreed to that. So we have it as a practice, but the agreement is you can decide whether to join or not join. Mm -hmm. If you join, there are certain expected behaviors. So you, you know, stand to attention, either you are silent or you sing. Mm -hmm. You can't be like, you know, jumping about or waving about and the things that you have the freedom to do other times doesn't work here because we have some agreements in this country about how we respect anthem. Mm -hmm. So if you're not happy with that, it's perfectly fine. You can do something else on your own uh, without disturbing this ritual. But so far, nobody has made use of that opportunity. They all want to come mm -hmm. and they also want to hold the flag. Yeah. And then, <laughs> so initially there was one child who was always fetching the flag and then others asked for a turn and he wasn't giving it. And then they said, the like, I'm not getting a turn. This is not fair. And then we looked at our values where we talk about taking turns. So should we take turns for the flag? Yes. Then we counted how many times each person has had. And it turned out there had been people who wanted it, who had never said it because, you know, when these other people are arguing about it, they, did, they weren't, it wasn't safe enough for them to say that I also would like to hold mm -hmm. it. So now we sort of have a roster and we keep track of who has had how many turns <laughs> and they are very proud to be the flag blick for the day. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.